how does yoga work i will tell you in the form of a story there was once a king and he was very proud of his splendor and his achievements and that is why he used to uh, tell his court poets to sing his glories to sing about him talk about him he was a vain king now one of his very wise courtiers told him my lord he alone is worth praise who has conquered himself not merely conquered the external but who has conquered his own mind and uh, the king said what are you talking about then he said do you find any people like that and then the courtier said yes in fact we have a sage quite close to our kingdom he has the epithet means people say he is a one who has conquered a thousand elephants that strength he has because his mind is completely under his control then the king said i don't believe all this uh, let me go and see anyway what you are talking about so he went with his courtiers he went with a thousand soldiers to find out if that sage is really like that so what happened they all went and sat around this sage this sage was sitting under a tree in his ashram and there the other rishis came and told him don't disturb him this is his time for meditation you all sit here sit here and you can watch him so they sat around this yogi this great sage and then after what happened is he he had his eyes closed so he didn't even notice that they had come then he went into his meditation as soon as he went into his meditative states a deep calmness came over all of them all their minds which had come with anger and arrogance and pride somehow they became very calm and they felt that calmness as a serene form of happiness so they were very happy sitting there like children and they also closed their eyes then this sage this yogi he entered into the state of samadhi which means mind stopped mind stopped awareness is completely there it's a see apparently from the outside samadhi may appear like an unconscious state deep within there is full consciousness mind has been arrested so when he entered into this state you know what happened to all of them their mind their thought process also stopped this is the power of realization their thoughts also stopped yet they are fully conscious fully aware so they thought what kind of a state is this what kind of power is in this mind then after a long time this yogi came came out of his samadhi and immediately they saw that their minds also now started moving the mind had become unmoving and it started moving moving in the sense thinking and thoughts started coming in then they realized they were sitting here in front of the sage and a happy mood prevailed then in this a kind of a supremely peaceful state the yogi came into normal awareness normal consciousness and then he greeted the king and asked him when did he come why he has come and the king stood up and told him i have nothing more to tell you when your mind went into meditation all our minds calmed down a thousand minds came to a standstill and when you went into the state of samadhi we experience something of that state we experience the state of full blown consciousness within so you have been able you are really fit for this epithet that you can control a thousand elephants because the mind mother hasti they say it is like a mad elephant you are able to control that mind if you can control it in your system you get the capacity to control it in other minds you are you are able to control other minds so this capacity we found in you so indeed you alone are fit to be worshiped and praised saying this the king and his retinue went back in great joy because they had tasted some genuine original bliss not the synthetic joys of life you know, joy synthetic joys means joys based on objects original joy means the joy that you get from within so this is a capacity of the human mind you see you can enhance perception just by training your mind